Server web pages are an upcoming feature coming to Discord in the near future. When exactly, I don't know, and I don't think any of us do, unless you work at Discord. So let's start with the bad news. This feature is not currently available. It's currently in beta, and it's rolling out to random servers that are in Discovery. Someone says it's rolling out to 8% of servers in Discovery, but I'm not going to quote them on that, even though I literally just did that. But with my luck, I don't currently have it. I am in Discovery, but I don't have access to this feature. I usually don't have access to these features when it's rolled or when they're rolling out to random people. I have to go off this Reddit post here. But when this feature is released, it will be made available to all servers in Discovery. So your server will need to be in Discovery. Right, here are the requirements for Discovery. So you need to have at least 1,000 members in your server and you need to have 2FA required uh, for moderators. Those are the main things, I think. You can see them all here if you want. So you're gonna need to meet all those requirements and then sign up for Discovery. And once your server's in Discovery, when the feature comes out, it will be somewhere around here. These websites do not require coding, which is great. You simply need to go in the server settings and the server web page section and as you can see you need to fill in these fields right here and discord will use that to auto generate the page and it will end up looking something like this obviously this feature is not out yet it's in beta so it could look a lot different when it actually comes out but right now it looks quite good i think i'm kind of surprised i hosted it on discord.com to be honest i thought it'd be like just a page you can open in your discord server but since it's exclusive to discovery servers it makes sense because those servers are public anyway, and the fact that these web pages will be public on the Discord website, I think that makes sense. But let's just quickly go over what it will look like when you get access to this feature. So obviously once it's out to everyone, it won't say beta here, and this is what it looks like at the moment. So right at the top here, it's got the published page URL. So obviously you're going to need to publish a page for it to have this. Your website won't be publicly viewable until you publish it. So server web pages are optional, and you can upload your server's artwork here to make it unique to your server, as you can see right here, and the server icon as well. That's quite nice, I think. And you can put a description here, and this section down here. Reason to join your server, stuff about Fortnite and Mobile. Okay, that's just what this person has set. Okay, and that section goes here. So I think this looks really clean right now. Obviously, as I said, this can change. It can look completely different to this in the future. But at the moment, I think it looks quite nice. Now, let's go on to the blog post. So I'm just going to summarize the main stuff here. You can search this up yourself if you want, if you want to get more of an overview on server web pages, but I'm going to go over the juicy stuff. So what is a server web page? I'm just going to skip that first sentence. So new community members will be able to join the server directly from the web page. So basically, I'm guessing what they'll do is they'll, on the Discord website, there will be like a tab up here or something saying servers. And just like Discovery, there will be something like this, but in the form of, you know, on their website. So basically, Discovery is currently in Discord. There's a Discovery tab, but I'm guessing they'll put one on the Discord website itself. And so anyone can find your Discord server. They don't need to know about it. Just like in Discovery, you can search for any server here. If I search for mine, if for some reason you search for this keyword and you don't know about my Discord server, well, now you do, because it's right here. So I guess that functionality will be similar on their website. So at this stage, web pages are currently currently available to a small set of discoverable servers. They don't say how many, but they do this with a lot of things, like a lot of features in the past. Like in the past year, when they've been beta testing features, they've just rolled out to random people. So it's like a game of luck if you'll get these features or not. I'm not really a fan of that, to be honest, especially because I like to cover all these features before they come out. It's kind of hard to do because I never get them. If you want to take down your web page, all you have to do is go into the server web page settings and server settings in your server and click disable web page and that will disable it. I'm guessing that just means it won't be publicly viewable, but you can still edit it from there. So basically you can like disable it just for maintenance while you update it. And something I'm sure a lot of us will be wondering, considering how many Nitro features are coming out now, does my server need a specific server boost level to access this feature? So server web pages are currently in beta, as we know, and are available to all servers that have access to the beta, regardless of boost level. So I think this makes sense. If it's exclusive to people that have their servers in Discovery, then locking it behind a boost level, I don't really think that would be fair. To finally get your server in Discovery, and then to find out that when you want to publish your server web page, you need like boost level 3 or something, I think that would be kind of unfair. But with how many features they're locking behind boosting, it makes sense that people would be worried about this. Now this could completely change when the feature comes out they could lock it behind a boost level i'm sure you can agree i hope that doesn't happen right in the future we may integrate page features that require a certain boost level now either they don't know what features are locked behind boost levels or they're debating whether to do it because i don't have any idea what those features would be just look at this right here i have no idea what they would lock behind nitro boosting so thank you to the person that posted this person right here thank you the chance our servers might get more members through Discovery if they put it on their main website. Because having a service tab on the website, I think will make it so much more people actually find servers through Discovery than, you know, relying on scrolling to the bottom of the server list and then going into the Discovery tab and then search for the server. So this could be beneficial for more traffic. So that's basically a summary of server web pages as they currently stand. Many things could change when they actually release and we don't know when they will release. So if you're looking forward to this feature, let me know. And when this feature actually comes out, I might go over it again just to see what's changed. Until that time comes, I will see you next time.